I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 27.1 Questioner, Jim has felt the obligation to ask two questions that were asked of him by Paul Shockley, and I will ask those two first, in case you are able to answer them before we get started. The first question, Paul Shockley is presently channeling the same source which Edgar Casey channeled, and he has received information that he took part in the design and construction of the Egyptian pyramids. Can you tell us what his role was in that effort? Answer, I am Ra. This was in your space-time continuum two periods and two lifetimes. The first of a physical nature working with confederation entities in what you know of as Atlantis, this approximately 13,000 of your years ago. This memory, shall we say, being integrated into the unconscious of the mind, body, spirit complex of this entity due to its extreme desire to remember the service of healing and polarization possible by the mechanisms of the crystal and the charged healer. The second experience being approximately 1000 of your years later during which experience this entity prepared, in some part, the consciousness of the people of what you now call Egypt that they were able to offer the calling that enabled those of our social memory complex to walk among your peoples. During this life experience this entity was of a priest and teaching nature and succeeded in remembering in some distorted form the learned teachings of the Atlantean pyramidal experiences. Thus this entity became a builder of the archetypal thought of the law of one with distortions towards healing which aided our people in bringing this through into a physical manifestation. Question 27.2. Questioner, the second question is, Paul has also received information that there were other beings aiding in the construction of the pyramids, but that they were not fully materialized in the third density. They were materialized from their waist up to their heads but were not materialized from their waist down to their feet. Did such entities exist and aid in the construction of the pyramids, and who were they? Answer, I am Ra. Consider, if you will, the intelligent infinity present in the absorption of livingness and beingness as it becomes codified into intelligent energy, due to the thought impressions of those assisting the living stone into a new shape of beingness. The release and use of intelligent infinity for a brief period begins to absorb all the consecutive or interlocking dimensions, thus offering brief glimpses of those projecting to the material their thought. These beings thus beginning to materialize but not remaining visible. These beings were the thought form or third density visible manifestation of our social memory complex as we offered contact from our intelligent infinity to the intelligent infinity of the stone. Question 27.3 Questioner, this session I thought we would start book 2 of the Law of One, which will focus on what we consider to be the only important aspect of our being. This, I assume, will be a much more difficult task than the first book. We want to focus on things that are not transient, and as questioner I may have difficulty at times. When I do have this difficulty I may fall back on some transient questions simply because I will not be able to formulate what I really need and I apologize for this. I will try my best to stay on the track and eliminate things of no value from the book if they do occur during my questioning. The statement I will make to begin with is, in this density we tend to focus our minds on some transient condition or activity with little regard to its value or use as an aid or a tool for growth and understanding of the true and undistorted essence of the creation of which we are an integral part. I will attempt, by starting at the beginning of creation, to establish an overview of ourselves in the creation, thereby arriving at a more informed viewpoint of what we consider to be reality. It is hoped that this will allow us to participate more effectively in the process of evolution. I would like to start with definitions of words that we have been using that possibly we have not and possibly cannot understand totally, but since the first words that we use are intelligent infinity, I would like for you to define each of these words and give the definition of their combination. Answer, I am Ra. Your vibrations of mind complex indicate a query. However, your vibrational sound complex indicate a preference. Please restate. Question 27.4 Questioner, would you define the word intelligent in the context of intelligent infinity? Answer, I am Ra. We shall address the entire spectrum of this question before defining as requested. 
Your language, using vibrational sound complexes, can be at best an approximation of that which is closer to an understanding, if you will, of the nature of conscious thought. Perceptions are not the same as sound vibration complexes and the attempt to define it will therefore be a frustrating one for you, although we are happy to aid you within the limits of your sound vibration complexes. To define intelligent apart from infinity is difficult, for these two vibration complexes equal one concept. It is much like attempting to divide your sound vibration concept, faith, into two parts. We shall attempt to aid you however. Question 27.5 Questioner, it is not necessary to divide it. The definition of intelligent infinity is sufficient. Could you define that please? Answer, I am Ra. This is exponentially simpler and less confusing. There is unity. This unity is all that there is. This unity has a potential and kinetic. The potential is intelligent infinity. Tapping this potential will yield work. This work has been called by us intelligent energy. The nature of this work is dependent upon the particular distortion of free will which in turn is the nature of a particular intelligent energy of kinetic focus of the potential of unity or that which is all. Question 27.6 Questioner, I would like to expand a little on the concept of work. In Newtonian physics the concept of work is the product of force and distance. I am assuming that the work of which you speak is a much broader term including possibly work in consciousness. Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. As we use this term it is universal in application. Intelligent infinity has a rhythm or flow as of a giant heart beginning with the central sun as you would think or conceive of this, the presence of the flow inevitable as a height of beingness without polarity, without finity, the vast and silent or beating outward, outward, focusing outward and inward until the focus is a complete. The intelligence or consciousness of foci have reached a state where there, shall we say, spiritual nature or mass calls them inward, inward, inward until all is coalesced. This is the rhythm of reality as you spoke, 